Hey guys, so nothing interesting really ever happens to me. So I thought when something interesting does, I should probably vlog about it. 7th of December 2010, if you're watching this in like the future, um, I went to go see Yumi at 6, The Blackout and Canterbury and Set Your Goals. I just thought I'd vlog about it and like say what happened and then I can also put all my videos like that I filmed and all the pictures I took at the end of this video and then that's a sneaky way of having all my gig videos on my channel even though it's a vlogging channel now so I shouldn't do that but hey it's a win-win situation right because I'm vlogging but I'm putting my gig videos up and therefore people can't moan at me for putting my gig videos up <sighs> oh my god okay right right you where I live like the last train back was was quarter to 11 and the show finished at 11 and it was a 10 minute walk to the station so we had to leave the venue at half 10 so basically we missed half an hour of the show and me and my friend who both like love Yumi at six we really didn't want to miss like half an hour of their set so to think of like ways to go around it we, we were just kind of there was no way around it because there was no trains back Wolverhampton is where I saw them is like an hour and 40 minutes from where I live so it would be pretty much impossible for someone to pick us up. So I came up with the idea, like, if we went super early, then maybe we could meet them, and then it wouldn't be so bad, because, you know, yeah, you miss half their set, but you met them. It kind of, it balances out, the good balances out the bad, like, if you get me. We got there so early, went to um, the venue, went to the Wolverhampton Civic Hall, and there was about 12 people queuing, not very many, they all sat there with, like, their blankets and... I don't even know. And we met this girl called um, Nessa and she was basically saying how the tour buses were around the side. I was just like, well, why the hell would we stand around here if the tour bus is around there? Because that's where they're going to be. So surely while all these people are queuing, we go stand on that side of the building and we're more likely to meet them. So we went and did that. We kind of felt like, like such little creepers, but I mean, it was about half three when we got there. The gig wasn't going to start for ages. So we like sat down on the curb and just kind of did what people do, you know, just talked and messed about and just got like cold. Probably been there for about for about three minutes before we saw um, Jay Smith, which is Sean Smith's brother. We didn't really say anything to him purely because I was the only person who even knew who he was and I didn't want to be that awkward because nobody else knew who he was. And then um, Yumi at Six's merch guy come out and he has a really big like moustache and I find moustaches hilarious. I don't even know why. But yeah, so that was quite funny and he was just like proper giving us a weird look. He walked past us and he was like... The thing is he walked past us about 50 times and he would always give us the same look so I've decided that I don't like him because he gave us creepy looks all night and oh, it was quite scary. But I don't blame him, I mean we were sitting outside the bus which is a bit creepy but I don't even, I don't even care. So we were sitting there and then Max comes out of the bus and he went, he went out for a cigarette. And me, um, Lauren and Nessa, we were just sitting there and we were like, what do we do? Like, on one hand, it's Max, he's right there, we should so go and like, say hi. But on the other hand, he's smoking, he probably doesn't want, like, three girls coming up to him like, hi, you know. But in the end we thought, like, fudge it. If you get an opportunity, you take it, because if you don't, then you might not get it again. So we went up to him, and we just started just like hi how are you blah 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 and we were just talking to him and he was so sweet bless him he was just like oh i'm not dressed for you guys to meet me because he was wearing like tracksuit bottoms and stuff and he's like oh no no no, i'm not dressed and we were just like it doesn't matter and he was just basically just talking to us and he told us like how he remembered us and stuff um the girl i was with she gave him a birthday cake for his birthday and he remembered and she got so happy and then he remembered me because i've already met you me at six i met them at well, actually, I've met them, like, two... This was the third time I met them. But I met them at an airport in um, August, which I'll also vlog about because I know people wanted me to do a Tumblr vlog about it and I just couldn't be bothered. So I'll vlog about that at some point. So he was basically like, I remember you. And then he goes to me, he's like, I met your brother yesterday as well. And I'm just thinking, seriously? You met my brother in Wolverhampton? My brother is 12 and he was not in Wolverhampton. And he said that and then he just kind of looked embarrassed and, like, laughed. He's like, oh, I got it wrong. I'm like, yeah, you did. No. <laughs> that was quite funny but he was so nice and he took like two pictures with all of us and then I mean I put the pictures here in the first one I kind of like but it's kind of blurry but then the good picture I look a bit weird in so I don't really like it I never seem to look good in pictures with famous people I can't really help that 
but he's lovely and that's the third time I've met him now and he's just he's nice we spoke to him and then obviously let him like get on with whatever he was doing and then um Josh which is the latest thing I've used wait this is Max and this is Josh that's creepy but <laughs> but he came out and he was like oh hi kind of thing and I didn't realize how long we were talking to him until I looked at my pictures and I realized the first picture I took with him was in daylight and the second picture was at night time so we've been talking to him so long it had actually gotten dark struggling to remember what we talked about for that long I don't know why I just I can't seem to remember it we kind of just talked to him and stuff and he had he had medicine in his hand because he was ill and he, he was talking like this and we were all like oh Josh is sick kind of thing and he was just like oh yeah but I'll, I'll be better I'll get my voice better I just need to do all this stuff and we were like oh <laughs> if you get me then I asked him I go I just want to see right if you remember me he looked like he was thinking really hard and he goes I recognize your face but I can't quite remember your name and I'm like do you remember like when you met me and he was like oh like probably like, thinking face and then my friend Lauren goes think about three months ago and he goes in an airport she goes, yeah, in an airport about three months ago. And he goes, oh, you were the girl we met at LAX with your mum and your little brother. And I was like, <laughs> like, he remembered me from three months ago. And I didn't even need to, like, I mean, obviously, she said, like, airport. Airport on three months ago was all he had. And he remembered me. Because, I mean, we talked for a while. We talked for literally half an hour, like, just me, him, Max and Chris. Because, obviously, we are in America. There wasn't many people who knew who they were. But I was like, oh, it really did. I love the fact that he remembered me. I really don't know why he remembered me because, like, of all the people and all the fans, he missed me and he remembered me from three months ago. And I know, like, whereas Max was just like, yeah, I remember you, I know that Josh actually really did remember me because, like, he wouldn't just know about my mum, my brother, and the, the, the airport it was in. Whereas if I met somebody three months ago as a complete stranger and talked with them for half an hour, I probably would not recognise them today. Maybe that's just my sucky memory, or he has super good memory. But he was so lovely, and he's like, he gave us all loads of hugs, and he was just, he was just like, oh, I don't even know. Josh is just a complete sweetheart. And everyone thinks he's like a douche for some reason, and I don't know why. Everyone's like, oh, he's so horrible when you meet him. But I've met him three times now. Not for like, not when you meet, you know when you meet someone, you're with them for like a minute. Not like that. I've met him for long periods of time, three times. And he's been nothing but nice every time I've met him, so I don't know why everyone thinks he's, like, nasty. We, like, waited for ages, and it was so freezing cold. I'm not even kidding. It was about minus eight degrees. And we were all, like, absolutely freezing. The doors opened. We literally, like, rushed in. Got to front row, which is pretty good. We got, like, straight in at front row. No, like, no pushing through people. No, like, oh, what do I do? Just in. And we were at the front row. It was pretty darn brilliant. So then, obviously, we sat through the acts at Canterbury. They're so good, like, I'm not even kidding. I don't know what I expected them to be like, but I didn't expect them to be that good. Like, they're really good singers and their songs are good. I didn't know their songs, I felt bad about that because they were so good, but I couldn't, like, sing along or whatever purely because, like, I didn't know any of their songs. And then it was Set Your Goals, which... I mean, I like Set Your Goals and everything. I'm not, like, a massive fan, but their music was so loud, you couldn't hear, like, anything they were singing. So they had good music, but their performance was kind of bad because I couldn't hear a word they were singing and it wasn't very fun. I don't know. Oh, I always liked the Blackout and they were always in my top 10, but since I've seen them now, I guarantee they'll slowly get even further up because they're so good live. I met Snorz from the Blackout as well. He was lovely. It was completely random. We were walking back backstage and he walked past me and nobody knew who he was, I don't know why. We were rushing to get out, so I kind of just looked at him, and he kind of looked at me, and then we just walked away from each other. She went to the merch table, turned around, and he was just there, and he was so nice. He was just like, oh, you're right, love. And then I kind of just asked him for a picture and everything. He's like, oh, yeah, of course you can get a picture. And then the picture was a video. So I have, like, a five-second video of us just going. And then we got a picture, but... The merch guy took the picture, and then I forgot my money, so he was like, oh, you've got your money, love, and he kept calling me love, it's quite strange, but, <laughs> I don't know, he was just really nice, and then he was just like, oh, I want to shake your hand, so I was kind of like, 
okay. And then he just kind of grabbed my hand and he's like, oh no, I actually want to give you a hug. And he just gave me this massive hug. And he was just like, oh, it's so lovely to meet you, love. Have a nice day. It was so nice to meet you. And I'm just like, no, it was nice to meet you. He was just so nice. I don't know. And then I walked away from him. And then my friend was like, who's that man you just hugged? I'm thinking, oh, seriously. I don't know. It really annoys me when people like a band, but they don't like every member. Like, if you if you only know the lead singer's name and not, like, the drummer and the bassist, and, oh, it just irritates me. If you like a band, you, sh you should know all their names. If they're one of your favourite bands, it just... That's a pet peeve of mine. I don't know. <laughs> I'm strange. And you meet a six played, which was so good. And like the amount of eye contact I got from like all these bands was great because I'm I'm always front row for concerts. I don't know why. Always front row, even for massive concerts. I somehow just use my little elbows and I get right to the front. But I've already heard their old songs, so I quite wanted them to play a lot of their new songs so that I wouldn't miss anything I'd already heard before, if you know what I mean. But they played a lot of their old songs, which was good, because I do love their old songs just as much as their new songs. And they played some new ones too, which was great. And then we had to leave. We left after, um, and then but just as we were leaving, like, it was, oh, when we were leaving, I tell you now, we were, because we were front row, obviously we can't walk back through all the, like, thousands of people or whatever, so we had to be lifted over this barrier, and it's really quite awkward, like, you have to kind of go like this, and the, one of the, like, security guards will kind of grab your ass and grab, like, here, and they kind of shove you over their shoulder and over the barrier, and I got stuck. And it was one of the, oh, I did not like that. I kind of got stuck in the barrier type thing. And I was just looking around me and I could just see this massive crowd of people. And I look up and the band is like this far away from me. And I'm like, I'm such an idiot. Why am I stuck here? It was quite funny. I will at some point try and find a proper video on YouTube where you can see me just getting like, like a little idiot <laughs> stuck on top of the crowd. But... That was quite interesting. And then as we were walking out, they started to play The Rumour, which is my all-time favourite song by them, which I was so gutted. I was like, oh, why couldn't you have played that first? But they didn't play that first, and there's nothing I can do about it. But the thing that bummed me out so much is we got to the train station. We rushed there, we rushed there. We got to our stop. We got on the train. And what did we hear? But an announcement telling us, oh, the train driver's been delayed. This train will leave in 38 minutes. 38 minutes like we could have watched the entire show and stayed after and still got our train but no we left early for no reason train services are stupid but i didn't care because i met them and oh it's good it's, it's just i don't know it was really good i love small shows like and i like shows of about five thousand or less i don't like shows that are like ten thousand plus because that's just too much like you don't get eye contact. I mean, I got eye contact to Paramore because I was so far forward, but not much, not half as much as you get when you're at like a really small show. If you go to shows, like, you'll know what I mean. It's all about like the eye contact. If someone looks at you as they're singing or as they're playing your guitar, it instantly just, it just makes everything better. I know that sounds like really lame, but trust me, if you go to shows and stuff, you will know exactly what I mean. And when someone like is singing and they look at you, you're just like, yeah. I don't know, it's hard to explain. I might actually, now that I've rambled this much, I might have to do a separate video for the um, like the music and the like pictures and stuff because I cannot fit like six songs at the end of this video because it would turn into like a freaking mini documentary. <laughs> documentary, that's what else I need to talk about. Oh my God, I, just, I can't talk about more. I've got no time left. Ah! But okay so we were like there when they were filming they're doing this like mini youtube documentary type thing and we were there when they were filming their merch guys this is the guy i was telling you guys about with the creepy ass mustache i feel bad he's probably lovely but he has a weird mustache i just anyone with a mustache has a weird mustache it's just i have a weird mustache thing but <laughs> i um i said he had to the people around me i said he had a pedo stash and then i laughed and if you watch his interview I don't know, I, I can't remember the exact time of it, but if you watch his interview, he's being interviewed and stuff, and he's like deadly serious, telling you all about this like merchandise serious business, and you just hear me laughing in the background, and I'm thinking, oh goodness, <laughs> he's like being deadly serious, and I just hear myself in the background laughing at his moustache. I'm such an idiot, like, who else is going to get in New Me at tour video by laughing at someone's moustache? That is just stupid. But I am in the crowd a lot, I see myself and I'm like, yeah. So sad, I was literally watching the video like, 
desperately trying to find me that's like this thing and I was like there I am in the crowd Prince Green god imagine if I tried to tell you guys about the time I met Yumi at 6 in the airport jeez like I was literally with him for 25 minutes for me to recap that conversation <gasps> I would be talking for like an hour which doesn't even make sense because the conversation wasn't that long but I would be because this is me and I'm like blah 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 okay bye